What's up people, it's your camera boy Jonah, I've missed you guys, you've probably missed me too. It's your favorite inconsistent YouTuber who is now going to try to be consistent. And we're going to start today by showing a cool effect that I used in one of my last videos that I had to edit. It's this cool, trippy, chromatic aberration LSD. Whatever you want to call it, effect. I'm going to show you how to make this in Premiere Pro but this technique can also be used in a lot of other softwares it will just be very similar so you can still watch this tutorial and follow along it's coming to <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't recognize me it's because my girl here just shaved me so I lost my beard <laughs> let's go and start tripping together all right so first you drag in your clip in your timeline now I really like to slow it down I really like using this effect on slowed down clips because I feel like it really adds to the feeling of being trippy, drowsy, sleepy, drunk, dreamy, whatever the reason is that you want to use this effect on your clip. So I slow it down 25% here because it was shot in 100 frames, so it becomes 25 frames. Let's just check what we're working with. So we have this nice slow-mo clip here of this girl. And the reason that I chose this clip is that it's really kind of a dreamy, vibey almost like you know like a little bit of a trippy let's say environment so that's why the effect will really add and not detract from adding it to this clip we will start this by first making an rgb split that's an effect on its own kind of so here you go that's already nice you will learn how to rgb split so you will go to effects and search for color balance you will choose color balance rgb you drag it onto your clip and now we need to copy this clip two times you can do it by doing Ctrl C or I guess Command C if you're on a Mac and then do Ctrl V two times but now we have to drag it over the clip I will show you a faster way to do it so you just hold Alt and you drag a clip and boom that makes a copy of that clip you can choose where you want to put it in a sequence so it's much faster we added the color balance to this first clip and by copying them it kept this effect on the other ones so that's really nice and fast we will go to the bottom one, we will put blue 100 and the rest at 0. The middle one, we will put green on 100 and the rest at 0. And the top one, we will put red on 100 and the rest at 0. And now we have this. We don't want this. Now for the next step, we will change the blend mode to linear dodge add. Little bonus tip here that I use a lot to edit faster is you can actually copy effects from this effect controls panel so I will click the opacity I will do ctrl C I will select my two other clips I will do ctrl V and now this will also have this linear dodge add that's a much faster and easier way than having to click each clip and then manually change this to linear dodge now it seems like the clip is just the same we need to add another effect so you go back to your effects and you search for lens distortion you will find under video effects distort the lens distortion and another fast way to add it onto all the clips is selecting them first and then you drag it and it will be automatically placed on all the clips instead of just one and you have to manually copy it or drag it onto each one separately so what we want to do now is play with the curvature here I quickly put the original clip here so I can show you guys what it does we can drag it to the negative side and as you can see it warps it it curves it towards us and we can go to the plus side and then it curves it the other way but it will become smaller so we will choose the negative side so that we still fill the frame. I will start by taking the bottom one minus 25, the middle one minus 20, and the one on top minus 15. As you can see, we already have a pretty nice effect. Let's check it out. That already looks really, really nice, especially in this environment. Now, as with any tutorial, I advise you people to kind of play around, really have fun with it and not just take these exact settings. Yeah, if you quickly want to replicate this effect, then just do it exactly like I'm doing it right now. But if you want to have some fun with it, you can really create some unique stuff yourself. So you can just play with the curvature amounts yourself. For example, let's maybe do minus 15, minus 10, and minus 5 and you can see now it's a much more subtle effect 
So depending on what you like for this particular clip, you can choose how much you want it. You can also have just one clip more than certain colors that just show more. You can even do some bonkers things and go to the plus side. I actually kind of like it and you could just scale it for example and then you could still fill the frame and it has this really weird extra layer on top of her now. So that's really cool. But for the sake of the tutorial, we'll go back to the first starting point, which was minus 20 for the bottom one, then the middle one minus 15 and the top one minus 10. Now we will add an adjustment layer, we'll go to assembly, we we'll right click, new item, adjustment layer, or we can click here, new item, adjustment layer. We drag the adjustment layer over our clips. Is it still recording? Yes, but it's dark. What do you mean it's dark? Okay, no, no. Now we will add an extra dimension to the effect, so we will add a Gaussian blur. Boom, you drag it over this adjustment layer here. Again, play with it yourself, the blurness. I would suggest something between 25 and 50. Let's start with 25. It could be cool like this also for some reason. But what I want to do is still show the subject and only make the environment trippy. So I'm gonna add an elliptical mask by clicking here. I will select invert. I will put it around our subject. And to not make it very amateuristic and unprofessional, we will add some feather. I would suggest something between 250 and 500 but again play around with it as much as you want to create your unique effect. Let's start by checking out 25 blur and 250 mask feather. For me personally the blur is a little bit too much while the feather is also not so super successful. So I'm gonna turn the blurness to 20 and the mask let's go for 500. Let's check it again. And I like this much better, a little bit more subtle, I would even go with my blurness to 15. Yeah, and I really like it like this. Now one thing that we need to do here, as you can see, the subject is not all the time really in the center of the frame. So we need to create keyframes for our mask. As you can see here, we have our mask. We will drag our mask over here. We will click this mask part. We will go some frames over, we will click this to add a keyframe, click this, drag our mask pot again over our face, move over some clips again, add another keyframe, drag the mask, repeat. And now the mask will follow the subject. Yeah, I think that already looks really cool. I will now show some examples of how you can play with this. Let's scale the top one to 110. So that really gives like a way different dimension to it. You know, you can choose for yourself which one you want to do. For example, let's take the middle one. It's a totally different look and vibe. For example, it's also a bit too much for me. So I will maybe go for 102 to really subtly change it. So that's one thing that you can do, play around with this. One thing that I discovered by playing around myself and that I really liked is the following thing. I will add keyframes to the curvature here and I will start by minus 20. I will go some, I will add one. I will say minus 10. I will go a little bit further. I will go minus 25. Go a little bit further again. Minus 5. A little bit further again. Minus 25 and so on and so on till the end of the clip. And now if you look at the corners here, for example, you will see that it's like moving. Which I really like, it really adds to the trippy effect. You can do the same thing, for example, with the blurriness. You can, for example, start at zero, move some frames, have it at 25, move some, go back to five, move some, 40, and so on and so on. And this is quite subtle also because I like to add subtle effects. But now you can see that the blurriness is kind of coming in and out, which for me really adds to this drunken trippy vibe because it's really wonky. As I said, go as crazy as you want with this. For example, we can keep on adding effects. Let's go to video effects, distort, turbulent displays, 
added on this adjustment layer. As you can see, it looks pretty whack. Let's just, for fun, play it like this. All right, it uh, won't play. I even have to render it to show it to you guys. Please like and subscribe so maybe I can have a better laptop when I make some money with these YouTube videos. No, 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 it's not all. I'm working, I'm working. Still recording? Oh, you sure? You didn't look. I'm sure. My girl Natasha is also trying out some video editing for the first time. As she already noticed, it's not so fun sometimes, especially not when you have a slow computer and you have to wait. She's editing on some, some computer of the. 2000s or something, I think. No. With 4 gigabytes RAM. Guys, can you imagine editing videos with 4 gigabytes RAM? Like, my phone has more gigabytes RAM. But I so, think this is. But respect, fun. respect. She made like a really nice first video, to be honest. Much better than my video. It's that feminine feel, you know, that feminine feel. But you we, we have to learn it here on YouTube by watching uh, guys like me showing stuff and I have to learn it from other guys and you know it's just guys learning guys maybe there are some girls here hey welcome to the girls I saw that in my analytics it's more guys than girls but uh, hey if you're a girl and you're watching drop it in the comments you're welcome here <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so oh my <laughs> god <laughs> all right so for fun we're now gonna watch it by not adjusting anything with this effect No, to be honest, it's kind of cool, <laughs> but I don't think the model will be really happy when uh, you send her this clip of herself. So we're going to tweak it a little bit. Again, we're going to add an elliptical mask. We're going to invert it, drag it over the model. Hmm. Oh my god. Mask feather again. I will choose 500 again. Yo, my computer is really dying, guys. Subscribe, subscribe now. <laughs> I need a new laptop. Quick bonus tip! Here you see that it's set on full, it's actually the playback resolution. We're going to select 1 over 4 now. It will be a little bit easier for our computers now to play back this footage and to edit it. Again we will add keyframes to this mask so it will track our subject. Boom! Still recording? Yeah, it's not recording anymore. It's a hard life, these YouTube tutorials. One tip if you shoot YouTube tutorials, most cameras stop recording after 30 minutes, it automatically falls out. So tip for you people, if you're shooting an interview, recording a YouTube video, whatever the reason is, put a timer every 25 minutes or something, so you know that the camera stopped recording and you're not just talking to that camera and have to say it all again. Also bad assistant! <laughs> no. Yeah, bad assistant there in the bed. <laughs> Is it still recording? Yes, yes! Oh no, it's a black screen! Oh! <laughs> With you! Oh, you can't, you oh can't is it still shoot. recording? Yes, yes, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, sorry, now it's a black screen after five minutes. <laughs> oh my god! All right, back to the video, guys. Rendering. Ah, estimated time left, one minute. It's very dark. Is it still recording? Yes. Ah, okay, it's still recording. And it's my face in focus. Ah, good assistant, good assistant. <laughs> so again, we will put a mask on it. We keyframe it so it will track the subject. Let's see how it looks with the mask. Okay, <laughs> alright, looks pretty sick. These are some good shrooms, people. But let's say, you know, maybe it's a little bit too much. Stripping a little bit too hard here. We, we want to keep it like a little bit relaxed. Let's go to the amount here, change it to 25, see what that gives. Nothing because my computer can't play it apparently. Rendering, rendering for you guys. Woo! Almost finished, Natasha. No, it's not better. <laughs> So the amount is now 25, we get a nice mask on her, let's see how it looks. Yeah, yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna end this tutorial. No, you know what, Natasha? Because you were bad, bad assistant, you can film me now. You can hold my heavy camera, you can film oh my, my outro. A bad assistant, you will now film my outro. So here, hold my heavy camera. And if I don't look good, you don't get food anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she cooks actually, so how am I gonna do that? Whatever, doesn't matter guys. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some stuff in it. Like and subscribe so I can be more consistent. I can buy a new, better computer. And remember, make this effect your own. So you can just search a lot of different effects in Premiere, add them, see what it does, play around with the settings, create your own effect. See you in the next one. Camera boy, Jonah out. Bam, boom, we're gonna eat now. Yeah, Natasha, yeah, Natasha, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard being a YouTuber, right? Good! Drop a like to inspire me to become consistent. I really want to do that in these times. It's actually a really nice opportunity for you people to learn more and an opportunity for me to share some stuff with you people. So like the video, it really helps to show it to more people and it helps me to get motivated and make another one tomorrow. <laughs> Like and subscribe and uh, I will see this to Jonah the Delight. Got this music popping now I'm needing stress. Told my mama she don't even got a stress. Told the God and he told me that I'm blessed. Yeah they hating cause they know that I am